We're doing a traditional ramen dish. Traditional but, ramen, yeah. I love ramen. But we're, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So we have instant ramen, which I know everyone eats, whether you're in college or whether you're coming up or in the hood or wherever, you know, so. It's ingrained in our system. Yeah. Let's, just, let's just accept it, okay? Yeah, we're human, man. <laughs> so, we, we eat good and bad. So know? how are we hooking it up? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crack an egg in there. Really? Yeah. Just I crack feel an nervous egg right with in. you. I feel like I Not gotta even, do this right. Man. All you crack gotta do is drop egg, that in. Drop Boom. that egg. And then what we're gonna do is basically we're just poaching the egg inside the ramen. So all we do is let it sit in there. Once it sits in there, then you take it over. And then you, what you have here, if you look under here, you have the egg that cooks underneath the, the noodles. Mm. Just like that. It smells right? good too. So then what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna pour it right into this bowl. Just step back. I'm not gonna, I'll get the board dirty, but not your clothes. You, you know, you're the chef, so I gotta back up. <laughs> so then what you're the gonna pro. do is you're just gonna garnish it. So you're gonna put that butter right in there. Go ahead and put the butter. Just All two, the butter? No, just two of them. Just two of them, because we then, got to have the butter. And then I'm gonna put two slices of American cheese, because I know everyone has cheese. Two slices of American cheese. All right, cool. American represents the So you got cheese hood. underneath. And then you got sesame seeds under there. Nice. And right on top. Sprinkle liberally. And then you have green onions that are shaved on a bias right here. Really shaved nice. on the bias. Say when. There you go, look at that, keep going. Awesome. Look at that. So then what you have is this ramen, which is like this, what I like to think of as cultures and life and everything coming together, because it's instant ramen, but then you're poaching an egg through a chef technique. You're hitting it with a really nice garnish, but you're putting American cheese. So it's mm -hmm. always about like in and out, high and low, up and down, you know, everything. Flavor. Flavor. Flavor, you made that seem yeah. so easy. It is easy. Well, should, should we taste that? Yeah, get in there. I wanna like, Get, get a little cheesy piece. All right, well, can ramen ever be wrong? I, you never. have to be a really bad cook to mess this up. This is such a, <laughs> it's such a simple recipe. And that's, that's what it is about cooking. You know, cooking has to be a gateway. It shouldn't always be difficult. It should be always good, though. It should always be good, yeah. and it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, this is what yeah, everybody... we're gonna move over here. Everybody right? has been looking forward to this. This is your ribs. Yeah, this is short ribs. Yeah. Oh boy. And this is kind of a homage to your, your new restaurant, Pot, right? Tell me about Pot. Yeah, Pot's in Koreatown. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we got like a lot of different styles of food that I do from the trucks on the streets. But Pot really represents like how I grew up. It's my soul food, it's my spiritual food. Kind of my love letter back to my family. Well, I love hearing you talk about okay. your family and your father especially. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the fact that you're the new generation and you're translating yeah. it all for us. So what, how do you do these? So um, American barbecue is usually about low and slow. So you take it, you smoke it. Um, and, but Korean barbecue is about thinner cuts and then using the smokiness in the marinade. So we made ah. soy sauce, sugar, we use a lot of fruits in here. Oh, kiwi. Um, yeah, kiwi and pear. And what those do is they break down the meats and add flavor. Put garlic, green onions, and we just puree it all together. Everything you just throw in a blender like a bartender. Press, press the button, and you just pour that over the meat. Oh, just pour wow. it straight over. That's nice. Yeah, just pour it over, and then you can just kind of move the meat around like this and let it marinate for like a couple hours at least, maybe overnight. And you just take this to a party or picnic, wherever you go, and you're and gonna make friends. Just throw it on the grill and you just are- Just grill, you'd be, you'd be the most popular person around. Well, I would like yeah. that. And then what we do on the trucks, we'll change the streets of LA, is like we took this flavor right here, chopped it up like carne asada, and made it into taco meat, put it in a tortilla, and just made people crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Didn't I tell you it was a hot show? <laughs>